Developments tonight on News 5 at 10 o'clock. Another day in court for two pain doctors after being hit with new charges this week. Authorities also arrested two of their associates who also went before a judge. And afterward, things with one defendant got a little heated outside the courtroom. News 5's Alan Carter has that story. Dr. Julu Ron kept his mouth shut heading into federal court Wednesday. Were you running a pill mill? And his former co-worker and current co-defendant walked in hastily. Both men charged with running an elaborate pill mill out of their practice. And what they're trying to do is punish Dr. Couch. They're trying to punish Dr. Ron for running a very successful practice uh, that had a lot of people depending on them to get their pain medications. Defense attorneys call it a game of gotcha, but according to the 19 count indictment, the doctors gave patients unnecessary medication, overbilled insurance companies, and ran a kickback scheme. Tell you right now, there will be a medical necessity in every single case for every pill that got dispensed. And now two additional employees at their clinic also brought up on charges. Thomas Palmer. Is there anything about these allegations? No. What to say? No. You got caught up in this apparently? What they're saying? Yep. And Bridget Parker. Anything to say about this? Nope. No? Who was pretty aggressive on her way out of court. Sir, please back off. Get She's away. You to back off. Get away. Y'all, I'll tell you what, y'all got y'all got <laughs> something coming for y'all. All four defendants pleaded not guilty. Already one former associate, Christopher Manfuso, has accepted a plea deal and agreed to cooperate with prosecutors. This is just a classic case of uh, of, of leaning, having the federal government lean heavily on other defendants to try to get them to say what they want them to say. And this trial is scheduled to begin in January, but the defense says that there is a ton of evidence to go through, and after delays, it's possible that it won't begin until sometime next summer. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5.